Let's listen in. Well, my daddy was what a lot of people called an alcoholic. He used to drink so much. At first he didn't. He'd go to a party and one of those business kind, you know, and all the guys around said, Come on, Bob, take a drink or two. He said, No, thank you. Oh, come on, don't be one of those freaks. So daddy said, In order not to be unsociable, he went ahead and take a drink. Well, he kept drinking more and more, more parties and more drinks. Sounds like fun. Finally, Daddy would drink before he got up in the morning. After he get home. Before, before he got, he up, got in up in the morning. morning. How the fuck? What? Yeah, did yeah. Daddy have an IV by the bed? <laughs> I drink before he woke up. And what would he say when he drank? My kid sounds like a chipmunk. <laughs> My kid sounds like that fetus I had aborted. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? Yeah. He pulled through, old <laughs> hanger head. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! Who saw that coming? <laughs> Last time I go to that doctor, <laughs> old, old doctor Nike of the stomach, that's who you got to call. <laughs> uh, you know, it went well when there's a tread print on her belly. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Air Jordans. Why is that on your belly? Medical procedure. <laughs> My daddy jumped up and down on her belly until I shot across the wall. Shot across the room, I should have said, but, you know, old Liddy. Uh. Get rid of that old inconvenience. <laughs> the old we can't go to Atlantic City this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Jumping up and down her stomach yelling, 18 years of financial freedom coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Vacations to places that don't have Ferris wheels coming up. <laughs> 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 we don't have to take separate flights anymore. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> Lace it up tight. Here it comes. <laughs> Lace it up. Set those buckets up, honey. Let's make this fun. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Steve, don't encourage uh, him. It's, it's the coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> that really sells it. <laughs> well, he's just trying to make his wife feel a little bit better. Like, this yeah, is something we're accomplishing. It's a good thing. That's right. All right, let's go back to this thing. Oh, during dinner, after dinner, before we go to bed, that's all Daddy would do. One of the dads of Daddy, I wish you could say. He said, ah, leave me alone. I said, Daddy, please. I said, Jesus, to come in your heart and save you. I said, quit it. I said, Daddy, if you don't get saved, you're going to go to hell. You don't get saved? Oh. It's a whole religious thing going on here, huh? <laughs> yeah, these are. I, I did yeah. a little bit of research. These are, are done by the characters called Little Marky, and they're a bunch of Christian Little records. Little Marky. Little Aww. Marky. And, uh, yeah, they're all very preachy, so you've got to sift through all that preachy stuff to get to the, the actual funny parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a bunch of jerks. I like Little Marky. Little Marky. I wonder if he wears little boxers like Marky Mark. <laughs> Shows off those little abs. Still has that little thing coming out of his belly button. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, boy. Daddy got up and he started chasing me around the living room. He told me if I didn't watch it, I was going to get you. I said, oh, Daddy, please don't hit me. He took a ball back and he started to swing. And Mama come out right outside by the kitchen door just at the same time. Daddy smiled at me. He didn't hit me. He hit my mama. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, this guy's a real go-getter. <laughs> Saves my ass. Hand me that bat boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chase a little Marky, and then Scatman Crothers came in and he hit him in the chest. <laughs> Daddy's book was really redundant. <laughs> Mama tried to find me and saw a bunny rabbit blowing another man. <laughs> I was quite a willful young boy. I needed to be corrected. So did Mommy. Oh, the drunk swings a towering high fly ball deep to center field. Mom's head goes over the fence. He caught it. Oh, wait, I thought it was a home run. <laughs> <laughs> and he hit her. And he hit her. 
and hit her again. <laughs> Mama didn't move for a long time. I thought she went to go to heaven. Oh. But after Mommy got out of the hospital, Daddy promised he'd be a good boy. Oh, he ain't going to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, prayer meeting, Thursday night visitation. He was there all the time. I thought my daddy was a Christian. Oh, I was so happy. Oh, my God. It's, you just want to kill the whole family. Oh. Oh. So the wife didn't leave. The stupid wife. Again. He beats her almost to death with a baseball puts bat. Puts her in the hospital. <laughs> puts her in the hospital. And she doesn't leave because well, he promises to go to church. Yeah, well, she shouldn't have swung the bat at him on the steps. Backing up in that hotel like that. That's where he got it. <laughs> Stay away from I'm very, I'm very confused. And then Daddy said he's, she's had her whole fucking life to think things over. <laughs> And wondered what a few minutes more was going to do her now. She hit Daddy and dragged him to the meat locker. (laughs) (laughs) And then Grady came to the door and he was very angry. He said Daddy didn't have the stomach for him. But he said he'd do better if he just let him out. Then he grabbed an axe. And well, you already heard Jimmy say Scamman Crow has got it in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's angry. Oh, man, that's crazy oh. music. I have two little twin girls to play with. Boy, are they creepy. After Daddy beat Mommy, she looked like the woman in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> All swollen. Gotta hear more of what happens. All right, it's the greatest yeah. opening theme in movie history. With yeah. the car driving up the mountain. Oh, there. it's the it's so best creepy. music ever. All right. I got kind of rough around the house. Daddy didn't let me and mommy go to church very much. Oh. One Sunday night, it got so bad we had to sneak out of the house. Oh, we went to the service and it was so great. The singing was tremendous and the preaching was grand. Mom and I started home. And we were so happy, but yet, we Uh-oh. were so burdened for our daddy. Uh-oh, here it comes. What happened now? Here it comes. There's always irony with these things. All I know is they went. the, the, the father said he was going to go to church, he was going to be a good guy after beating up the wife uh, with the baseball bat. Going to his meeting. Going to the meeting. Going to then, church. Then he starts falling back into his old bad habits. He's drinking again, didn't go to church, but the mother and the son go to church. And all I know... Is right now, they're done, they had a great time at church, and are they driving home? I believe they were driving home. Who's uh, driving? Was it I'm dad? Getting? No, I think the mom's <clears throat> driving. See, the ironic thing would be if they got hit by a drunk driver. God, that would be great. You know? Please let it happen. Could be. We were so burdened for our daddy. We opened the door, and nope. there was daddy sitting in his favorite chair again. Is he dead? Uh oh, no. He's in his favorite chair. Daddy, is Daddy dead? Dad's in his favorite chair. You're kidding! <laughs> How did it happen? Who is this? this? He was just drinking. <laughs> Oh, no. He was drunk. Oh. Mommy walked over to him and she said, Honey, when are you going to get your life straightened out and accept Jesus? She deserves another face. He said, Leave me alone. I couldn't believe my ears. I said, Daddy, you promised Mommy and me you would never drink again. Why did you do it? I said, Leave me alone. Oh, Daddy, I'm going to pray for you, Daddy. And my father said something I never heard him say. <laughs> Fuck you, you little fucking fucker. <laughs> <laughs> said something he never heard him say. What do you think he said, Jimmy? Um, <clears throat> Stop talking, kid, and put this in your mouth. 